And to paraphrase Mark Twain, news of Mr. Spivey's death has been greatly exaggerated. The latest batch of charges against former Chadburn Police Chief Anthony Spivey come after a week where he missed a court appearance, faked his own death, and was eventually arrested across state lines. District Attorney John David says while investigators were skeptical, the days-long search of the Lumber River was necessary but frustrating. It's frustrating, but if we had it all over to do again, we would not have advised to do anything else. Understand that we have to take reports of someone's suicide and the fact that they're missing a river with sincerity. And so, again, we allowed for the possibility even then that we needed to pursue this parallel track, that this might have been a fake death. The Columbus County Sheriff's Office says over 64,000 taxpayer dollars were spent on the search. Sheriff Jody Green wants Spivey and those who helped him hide to pay that money back. Time and equipment used to investigate this elaborate ruse, if you will, orchestrated by Anthony Spivey and his band of misfits. Please know that I am seeking restitution from these defendants. It's an investigation that cost more than just money. Cost in this case is not only financial, it's time away from your family, it's a cost of a risk of your personal safety, and it's a lost opportunity cost, a, a cost that comes from crimes that are not investigated um, or followed up on. David now hopes the $5 million bond given to Spivey will be enough to keep him in jail until trial and brings an end to this chapter of the Anthony Spivey saga.